starting down on your mat in a floated tabletop position, we're going to start to pulse the arms. Option to bring the feet down towards the mat and continue with the arms, or bring the head down to the mat and continue with the arms. Let's begin to reach the left leg out long in front, followed by the right. Continue with pulsing the arms and trying to float those shoulder blades as high as possible off that mat. Remembering to use your breath, gliding your ribs down towards your hip bones and drawing your navel down towards the mat. Option to rest the head down on the mat and continue working the legs. Final two here. Last one and hug the knees back in towards the chest. Well done guys. Just releasing any tension from the neck with a little side to side. And just having a little moment to catch your breath before returning back to that tabletop position once again. Taking the inhale breath, we extend the arms overhead and reach the legs long in front. Swim the arms back around and tap the outside of the leg. To advance this, we can always float the head, neck and shoulders, really sliding those ribs towards the hips and drawing that navel down towards the mat. Feel free to alternate between the two positions if you need to come down to the mat and continue working, especially if you're feeling any strain through your neck and shoulders. Finding now a quick hug to chest before extending the legs back up to tabletop and out long on the diagonal. We are then going to lift the tailbone up and away from the mat, reaching long through the toes and using those lower abdominals to help us scoop away from the mat. Finding your final two. And releasing down, hugging knees into chest, giving a little rock side to side. Interlocking the fingers now behind the head. We're going to exhale, curl and float the right leg up towards the chest, returning the foot down to the floor, followed by the left. Gazing towards those knees, sliding the ribs towards the hips, drawing the belly button towards the mat. To advance this manoeuvre, we are going to extend through that leg now so it becomes a nice straight leg. Otherwise, feel free to stay in the tabletop position. To advance this position further, we're going to now extend that bottom leg out nice and long in front, creating an L shape. Return to tabletop and extend the opposite leg. Keep reaching through the toes, gliding the rib cage towards the hips and drawing the belly button down. Remember, you have the option to take one, two or three. Let's finish out the set no matter where you are with a quick change whether it be in tabletop or full scissors. Really reaching through the toes, stay floated with the shoulder blades and releasing it down. Well done guys. Coming now to a nice lengthened position, reaching the legs nice and long out in front of you on the mat and then interlacing the fingers behind the head. We're gonna come into an oblique curl now. So floating the right leg to tabletop staying on this side so continually bringing the left armpit towards the right knee let's glide the ribs down towards the hips and find that nice ringing out through the waist as we take that nice big exhale up and over getting ready to change out for the other side now and continuing here now bringing the right armpit towards the left knee. Constantly being aware of your body and mindful of your correction points. 
focusing on the rib to hip connection and pelvic floor lift. Let's begin to alternate the legs here, so coming back to that right leg, followed by the left, reaching opposite armpit towards the knee. Let's really float those shoulder blades up and off that mat and ring out the waistline. Final four. In three. In two. Last one. And release down. Well done, guys. Nice big inhale, float the arms overhead, just having a moment here and then bringing the feet now so that they are back flat onto the mat, extending the arms to roof and take a nice inhale, tap the fingers to the floor behind you and back to centre. Repeat this process here, nice inhale breath, slide the ribs to hips and back to centre. On the next exhale breath, we're going to float the head, neck and shoulders off the mat and reach towards the ankles, sliding the ribs towards the hips. Continuing here with the abdominal curl, and remember you can always interlace the fingers behind the head if you feel you need more support. On the next exhale breath, we're going to hold the curl and walk the feet out so that we lengthen the legs across the mat. From here, we're going to perform a full roll up to a seated position before curling and rolling all the way back down to the mat with control. If the full sit up is too much today, remember you can go back to the half curl or you might like to put your feet flat on the floor to perform the full sit up. Only two more to finish this series. Really draw on that breath to help you. Almost there. And release. Well done, guys.